Chapter 14 Since you are the people of the Lord your God, never cut yourselves or shave the hair above your foreheads for the sake of the dead. You have been set apart as holy to the Lord your God, and He has chosen you to be His own special treasure from all the nations of the earth. You must not eat animals that are ceremonially unclean. These are the animals you may eat, the ox, the sheep, the goat, the deer, the gazelle, the roebuck, the wild goat, the ibex, the antelope, and the mountain sheep. Any animal that has split hooves and chews the cud may be eaten. But if the animal doesn't have both, it may not be eaten. So you may not eat the camel, the hare, or the rock badger. They chew the cud, but do not have split hooves. And the pig may not be eaten, for though it has split hooves, it does not chew the cud. All these animals are ceremonially unclean for you. You may not eat or even touch the dead bodies of such animals. As for marine animals, you may eat whatever has both fins and scales. You may not, however, eat marine animals that do not have both fins and scales. They are ceremonially unclean for you. You may eat any bird that is ceremonially clean. These are the birds you may not eat, the eagle, the vulture, the osprey, the buzzard, kites of all kinds, ravens of all kinds, the ostrich, the nighthawk, the seagull, hawks of all kinds, the little owl, the great owl, the white owl, the pelican, the carrion vulture, the cormorant, the stork, herons of all kinds, the hoopoe, and the bat. All flying insects are ceremonially unclean for you and may not be eaten, but you may eat any winged creature that is ceremonially clean. Do not eat anything that has died a natural death. You may give it to a foreigner living among you, or you may sell it to a foreigner. But do not eat it yourselves, for you are set apart as holy to the Lord your God. Do not boil a young goat in its mother's milk. You must set aside a tithe of your crops, one-tenth of all the crops you harvest each year. Bring this tithe to the place the Lord your God chooses for His name to be honored, and eat it there in His presence. This applies to your tithes of grain, new wine, olive oil, and the firstborn males of your flocks and herds. The purpose of tithing is to teach you always to fear the Lord your God. Now the place the Lord your God chooses for His name to be honored might be a long way from your home. If so, you may sell the tithe portion of your crops and herds and take the money to the place the Lord your God chooses. When you arrive, use the money to buy anything you want, an ox, a sheep, some wine or beer. Then feast there in the presence of the Lord your God and celebrate with your household. And do not forget the Levites in your community, for they have no inheritance as you do. At the end of every third year, bring the tithe of all your crops and store it in the nearest town. Give it to the Levites, who have no inheritance among you, as well as to the foreigners living among you, the orphans and the widows in your towns, so they can eat and be satisfied. Then the Lord your God will bless you in all your work.